no matter how you come, Hobart is the starting place to explore southern Tasmania. Where ships seem to berth in the main street, and the unfenced harbour is part of the city. The mountain dominates Hobart, and we must climb over a thousand feet to drop down to a peaceful valley which is the hub of Tasmania's apple industry. The heady carpet of blossom gives promise of the fruit to come, but there's much to do to safeguard the autumn crop by every care the orchardist can lavish. but there's more to the valley than apples. Hops, the essential for good beer, are grown here. In spring, they must be tied out so they can twine up to the sun. Hewanville, the centre of the valley, takes its name from the River Hewan that flows by its door. Placid and broad here, after its journey through the mountains, it was the only route in the early days for pioneers and settlers to follow. And timber getters floated down the logs of the famous Hewan Pine. A playground now, the broad reaches of the Huon River are ideal for cruising or skiing. With sport also for the more solitary minded, but where excitement can come at any second, and you might land a 20 pounder. Forests of eucalypts and native pines in the upper valley are cut selectively to preserve this heritage of green gold. Vast limestone caverns discovered by the early timber getters have been lighted for the visitors, presenting a fascinating fairyland of shapes and colours. You can almost see the fairy queen holding court in Titania's palace. The days of the bullock wagon have passed now and foresters need good roads to find and bring out the forest giants from the high timberlands. So roads have been made, opening new vistas of mountains and faraway places. Exciting, but easy to get to. The 
Hartz Mountains are the center of a 23,000 acre national park. A sanctuary for birds and animals, a garden for wild flowers. With tracks leading to rugged peaks or hidden mountain lakes for those with an hour or two to spare. Lake Esperance, almost 4,000 feet high. For the young and venturesome, the mountains are forever calling. So it's up the ridge and over the boulders to discover an alpine world, sometimes windswept, but always rewarding, with panoramas of sheltered lakes and countless peaks. Now, down from the mountains to the fertile valley again, where the fruit trees abode with the weight of the crop. Autumn, season of mists and mellow fruitfulness. The apples ripen on the trees, the hops swell on the vine. The valley sets to work. Granny Smith's, Jonathan's, delicious Cleopatra's, each in its season is picked and checked and packed for export. They go to Port Huon, a port set up for this trade only, where ships of many nations load apples for the world. The chatter of winches brings to a close this season of harvesting around the Huon River. But for the people who live here, it heralds the beginning of another year in this mountain valley. 